you will learn how to use token limit policy in Azure API management. LLM models have limitations for the number of tokens that could be consumed. For that, you need to limit the number of tokens that are consumed either by your application or by your users. For that, you can apply a policy in API management that is called Azure OpenAI token limit. So you can configure this policy with a counter key. This means that the tokens will be counted for each user. This means this is the IP address and the limit for each user in this case is going to be 500 token per minute, for example. And you can configure this policy to count itself the uh, number of tokens if you set that to true or you can just count that num exact number of tokens by getting the response from the OpenAI API that contains the remaining number of tokens. And then you can choose to save that uh, remaining number of tokens within a variable that you can rename it remaining tokens, for example. This way you can get it within the response of your uh, HTTP request. So token limit policy is a new added feature for the Gen AI gateway uh, API management and it's documented in Azure uh, documentation where you can see here all the attributes that could be used within that uh, uh, policy. Now for the demonstration, we'll go to create an Azure API management, Azure AI services, and then we'll go to apply the policy to limit the number of uh, tokens that could be consumed by the application to only 500 tokens per minute. And that's gonna be in the next video. We'll create these resources using Terraform and then we'll go to apply the policy also using uh, Terraform and then we'll proceed to a test for this uh, uh, policy. The lab environment is available on this GitHub repository on the folder 320 where you can find all the Terraform code and also the Python notebook that we'll be using in order to test the uh, policy. I had already cloned that repository in my local machine and here I have the Terraform code that will create a resource group and then it will create Azure AI services with the model GPT-40 uh, and then it will go to create an Azure API management that uses the developer SQ. It should not be consumption right here because the policy we are testing today, the rate limit policy does not work with consumption. It works with any SQ except consumption. And then we'll go to import the OpenAI uh, spec using a Swagger file or using the OpenAPI uh, spec. So we specify the spec file and then the protocols, the paths and so on. And we specify the subscription key to be named uh, API key. After that, we go to apply the policy, which is a policy.xml file right here. This policy will contain, of course, the authentication part and the authorization part so that API management uh, gateway will authenticate to Azure AI services to connect to the ChatGPT model. And then we have our policy that we want to test today, which is the Azure OpenAI token limit policy. And with this policy, we have configured it to use counter key IP address. So this will watch for the IP addresses of the connected users. And then it will limit each IP address to 500 tokens per minute. And it won't estimate the prompt tokens. So this means that sometimes it will exceed the maximum allowed tokens because it will allow the request to be sent to the Azure OpenAI and then it will count the number of remaining tokens. The remaining tokens will be saved on a, a variable called remaining tokens. Once that policy is deployed, we can view also all the resources deployed using uh, Terraform using the two commands Terraform init and apply auto approve. And there you will see all the resources deployed here. So now if I navigate to the API management and then if I go to API, I should see here the imported API in Terraform, which is called OpenAI. And then within the uh, policies section here in the unbound processing, I should see our policy here, which is called Azure OpenAI token limit. And you can see its configuration right here that uses the IP address and also the number of tokens will be limited to 500 and the rest of the configuration. Next, we have also created a subscription key to be used in order to authenticate to Azure API management. And then we exported the subscription key and the gateway URL for the API management in order to use them to test access to that uh, API through Python uh, Jupyter Notebooks. So first thing I'm gonna do here is to get the deployment output. So I'll get that uh, gateway URL from uh, Terraform output 
and the same I'll get the subscription key from Terraform output here are those two values and then I'll go to test access to the API using direct HTTP call by using the requests library so I'll go to make 10 requests so here I'm creating the message so I'll send this message to the API uh, management which will forward it back to the uh, LLM to the chat GPT model and then we'll print the response is if the status code is 200 and otherwise we'll show the um, status code for the error response so let's run this code as you see here we run this code so first run it's okay successful 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 until the run number uh, 9 and 10 where here we get 429 and we know in LLM models 429 means that the token limit is exceeded so it should try you should try again in 54 seconds because this limit here is per minute great okay let's check now the number of remaining tokens after each request so for that I run this code right here that will analyze the uh, HTTP responses from the OpenAI and it will detect the remaining tokens and it will create this graph for me that shows me each time for each request how many tokens have been consumed so the accumulated values are represented by this green line where here I can see of course it's always incremented until we reach it here 531 so here we are above the value about above the limit which was set to uh, 500 in our policy as we have set it here tokens per minute 500 but because we have set this estimate prompt tokens to false then this means here API management will pass or will let go the request to the API uh, to the uh, chat GPT model and from the response it will detect the remaining tokens so here the limit the number of tokens consumed was 462 so it still have room for to consume more tokens so it sent the request and then it detected that uh, the limit here was a little bit exceeded so at this time here it will block all the following requests until it reaches 60 seconds after which it will close again the circuit and that was how to limit the token usage for your LLM models using Azure API management policies